Chef Jinx. He worked at the local 59 Gastro Pub in Portland, Oregon on Morrison Avenue. He's known for his new school cooking style. He came out here to reinvent the cooking landscape as we know it with his new school style. Some of the dishes that he's cooked we have never seen the likes of. Chef Drew, we got 30 minutes on the clock. What do you got going? 30 minutes, yes, Chef. Right now, we're warming up our ghee butter. Throw some flame Hot Cheetos over, get a nice fry, you know, black in. Okay. Do our seasoning, some garlic, pepper, salt, a little bit of, uh, little bit of uh, Italian roux. Okay, okay. While we're doing that, waiting for our water to boil for our Cheetos mac and cheese. Okay. It'll be the nice base to the meal. It'll really hold everything. Okay, man with a plan. Continue, yes, continue. Chef, chef. Okay, Jeff Jinx, we got 20 minutes on the clock. 20 minutes on the clock, yes, Chef. What do you got going here? Throwing our Cheetos in now, our water is boiling. We're gonna do a mixture today. I ended up finding these, another bag we had in the back. Sweet Carolina Reaper. It's gonna give us a nice heat. Oh, nice fuck heat. me! He just put that back in the pan? What? That is unsanitary. Unsanitary. Chef, we have to use everything we've got. We're gonna keep that in mind in the ratings. Chef Jinx, runner up here. He seems to have some skill in the kitchen. You can tell he's done his homework. We're not gonna forget that he put that Cheeto in that was on the stove. You never do that in the kitchen, and we're gonna remember that. I, I can't believe he made a rookie mistake like that. Sorry, Chef. Doing my best, Chef. Yeah, Creep Master, he, um, Creep Master. He's got a bit of an attitude, he's a bit eccentric, but I went to his European restaurants in 2012 and they checked out. He was known for inventing the couscous pudding, sort of like the tapioca pudding with a European spin. Okay, we just got a new chef in here, esteemed chef, Creep Master. He owns seven European restaurants, two four stars, and six five stars. <laughs> Let's see what he thinks. How are you feeling about this meal? Do you, you like what you see? It's a lot of Cheetos, man. It's a lot of Cheetos. I'm not, I'm not digging it. I don't think he's, I don't think he's gonna work. Uh, ballsy strategy. Cheetos on Cheetos, man. Sometimes your risk pays off. Sometimes. I don't know if it will today. <laughs> All right, about to check on Chef Jinx here. We got going. Yes, yeah, Chef. Today I am making a. Mountain Dew, based flaming hot marinade with half and half. This is really about, is this really the right call um, only, you know, with only fifteen minutes left on the clock today, Chef? I'm not quite sure, but I'm going to take a chance. Okay. I'm going to see how it works. Okay. I've got Cheetos in to dissolve to thicken it up a little bit afterwards. That way we have a nice sauce after to pour over our mac and cheese. Okay. Risky. Continue. Perfect consistency. Nice texture. Foam at the top. It's working out great. Chef Jinx, we have uh, several complaints from the crowd. They paid good money to see this show and their nostrils and eyes are starting to burn. Look, it said on the pamphlet that you need to be ready because there's going to be a lot of spice in the air. A lot of different aromas, a lot of different stuff going on. Okay. If they got any complaints, they can shove it up their fucking ass. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. We got going here. I'm uh, finishing up our mac and cheese. We want it a little bit liquidy. You want it a little bit soupy. The little known fact that uh, the original uh, Machecchio, who created the mac and cheese meal, created it as a soup. This is the way that it was uh, intended to be. So we're going to have a little bit of. Not only are we trying some new infusions tonight, we're always also having a history of this. I think the chefs always appreciate when you incorporate the origins of the meal into the food. It seems like you really learned the history of this meal. Yeah, yeah, it really adds a lot to the experience. We got 15 more minutes. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? The marinade. It's just, it's just, it's not thick enough. It doesn't have that texture and that consistency we need. I'm just, I'm just kind of struggling, chef. But, This is a pop, of course. Save it. Save it. 
time. Five we have ten minutes on the clock. We have ten minutes on the clock. We'll save. We'll save. You think the powder from the popcorn is going to thicken this? It's going to thicken it up. It's going to give us the perfect consistency. It's already working. That popcorn is already dissolving in there. It's a big Good save. Continue. Let's see what Chef Jinx has going here. Well, our meal here is complete. Now we're moving on to the most important process. Which okay. Is the canvas, the painting, the plating. So our mac and cheese is finished. Our sauce is thickened up to the consistency we want. And we've got our hot Cheetos that have been blackened and seasoned. Okay. It's the heat base. So. We got a good, we got a good um, color palette here. We got white, dark, and in between. Let's see if we can use this to his advantage. Okay, using the rule of thirds, it looks like. I know he mentioned in the old gastro pub that he, he had a, he had a just a real good background and structure of the plating. So let's just see if he can utilize this under pressure. Toy, so okay, he's making sure to get the juices in there. Because he also, he has to worry about the flavor as well as plating. How the flavors are going to mesh, as well as making them visually, usually appealing to the eye. This sauce kind of acts as a stimulant. Making sure to get all the foam and the bits out. That's where the flavor is. And that's what you want for that first bite. See this light and dark play, this really highlights the meal. I already see Jinx has a good eye for aesthetics here. Food's ugly. I don't want to eat it. Plating is everything. Now for the garnish. Black and Cheetos. Bone and apple tea. Uh, you know, it's a real local favorite, Chad. You know, three-time prison convict. <laughs> hey, hey, we don't need to talk about that here. <laughs> Current food truck owner. <laughs> Four star. <laughs> oh wait. Table is set. <laughs> like we gotta get it all in one bite, right? Oh gosh, this doesn't look good. You guys made your own bed. It's time to sleep in it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> look at the foam. <laughs> ah. You know, when I was cooking it, it really didn't look that bad, but now it's in front of me. I'm really regretting what we're doing here. This is, these textures aren't, aren't going to mash together. You're not going to Oh, man. This is, this is not good. Why don't you give it a try first? Tell us how it is. Yeah, yeah why don't you give it a try? And then, then we'll I don't even like Cheetos. Why am I eating this? We're going to bless you with this first, the first bite. I don't think so. I don't think so. Now fucking open up that mouth, T. <laughs> Alright, dude. Okay, here we go, here we go. <laughs> yeah, that sounds not like helping. Oh, I'm gross! <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh, my God, I'm gross! <laughs> Look at it swallowing it! <laughs> ah, oh, that foam! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I actually puked. <laughs> 